Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Jusa Lachey and today I'm going to be trying on my old prom dresses and my old graduation dresses. I think it will be interesting to see A, if my clothes still fit, B, how they look on me now, and C, just to see how much my style, my fashion sense has changed over the years. So I think it'll be a fun video and I know this is around the time that girls start looking for their graduation dresses, for their prom dresses, and they start shopping around. So I thought this would be the perfect video and I hope you guys enjoy. Before we get started, I wanna ask that you come and join the Bright Side, come and subscribe to my channel. Okay, this is where you belong, this is where you need to be. So do what you need to do and make sure that that red button is pressed. Let's get started. This actually is my fifth grade prom dress. Now I know a lot of you guys are like, what, what fifth grader has a prom? Well, it turns out I just happened to be one of the few. And I remember in fifth grade, this one of these staff members, she was so pressed on making sure that we had a prom. Like it was the very last minute and she was still pressing for us to have a prom and she made sure like that we had one. It was the most like janky prom in our cafeteria, but she was just like, listen, these kids need to have a prom. I think my mom already had this dress for me. I don't think that we went out and bought it. And this was in fifth grade. So I was probably like 10, 11, I think. And this was the dress that I wore. <laughs> I'm gonna try it on for you guys to see. Okay, this is how the dress is looking. I could not get it to fully close at the back. It still has some space, a big gap actually. This is not my taste at all anymore. I don't even think I wore it with the straps in fifth grade. I wore it inside so it was like strapless. And I just feel like I'm ready to be turned into an emoji. So yeah, this will clearly not be in use ever again for me at least, but I'm hoping that someone will be able to enjoy this dress at some point. I can't remember how my fifth grade prom was. I think literally it was just in the cafeteria. There was music playing and there were just like groups of friends sitting down talking in nice dresses. Like that was our prom. And I think at some point we did do a little Soul Train line, but Knowing how shy I was, I probably didn't even go down the line. I mean, now that I recall, I feel like there were some fifth graders who were getting a little down and dirty, you know, a little bit non-fifth grader-y. I was very shy, so I wasn't gonna join them. This is uh, this is quite the dress, though, uh, I will say. Um, very interesting. But you know, very fifth grade appropriate, I think. I mean, what do you guys think? Because I think this is fifth grade appropriate. Do you think I was like doing too much in fifth grade? Like. I don't know, I just feel like... Can you imagine me trying to like pull this off now? Okay, and now to my fifth grade graduation dress. This is my Fifth grade graduation dress. Um, as you can see, it's a very kid-friendly dress. I mean, clearly this is not made for adults. And I tried my hardest to get this one to fit. Okay guys, I got reinforcements. The dress was able to close, but you know, my, my boobs look a little squished. They look a little flat. Okay, I wasn't working with the same, the same volume, you know, the same girth. Squish boob action. This is not where it's at for a 25 year old, okay? This, if you are not part of the itty bitty titty committee, then this is not for you. But I'm um, very kid friendly. It also had a little shawl action, which, you know, I feel like sometimes these are completely pointless because if I were cold, like, what is this actually gonna do for me? I was looking around with those like chunky, like short heel. Um, like Mary Jane type of shoes. I was just clunking around my shiny shoes and I thought I was cute, okay? I thought I was here for it, okay? I thought I was killing the game, okay? I thought I was slaying the fifth graders edges. I was getting it as a fifth grader, okay? I was slaying, okay? I was snatching edges with my dress. 
Okay guys, so this dress, let me tell you a little story about this dress, okay? I went to an all girls school in East Harlem. They had a lot of dress, free dress giveaways for, you know, whenever we were going to prom and, and graduation. My school told me about a dress giveaway and I went to it and I found this dress and it was between this dress for prom for 12th grade and this dress. And I picked this one out. I'm not even too sure that I tried it on, but I picked this one out and then I tried to put it on and I could only successfully get it on one time. This dress is hella complicated to put on, okay? And I think that's why I never made the cut. It was just, it was being too much. It was being too complicated. It was like, oh, I'm gonna try to play hard to get, but it was like way too hard to get. So I was like, nah, you're gonna be put to the side. It's okay, I don't need you. I really wanted this to be a good contender. When I saw it hanging on the rack, I was like, okay, I see you. It looked a hot mess. And when I actually did try it on, I was so unhappy. I almost cried. I almost shed some tears. I don't know, maybe I just didn't have the look for it, okay? I just didn't have the sleigh for this one. Every time I tried to put it on, these beaded things on the dress, they would always latch onto my hair. And it would be the most dreadful thing trying to get the dress on and off. It was equally hard. I had a, a nice long run collecting dust in my closet. Little Mermaid's gonna have to, you know, bow out. <laughs> You know, after all these years, I still feel gone with the wit fabulous in this dress, okay? I mean, check me out. This was my 12th grade prom dress. This was the one that made the final cut, okay? It made it to the top. It exceeded all my expectations compared to the other dresses. So um, I'm bursting out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm having troubles breathing right now. I still feel fabulous, okay? I mean, don't get me wrong, will I wear this again? I mean, look at my face. Look. Come cl look, come closer. Look at my face. <laughs> this dress was definitely not what I was expecting as a prom dress when I was first looking for prom dresses. But I got this from one of those dress giveaways once again. This company came to my school and took a whole room, emptied it out and put a whole bunch of racks of dresses in size order and length order and color order. And every single 12th grader was allowed to check out one dress. And this was the dress that I checked out. So it was actually free. And I think it was this one detail that sold it for me. I think if this wasn't here, I would feel like this was the most basic dress. I like when things like can jazz up an outfit, but they're not overdone. So like this whole side action, like from coming from the middle, going to the side, I was like, okay, I see you. I don't know if you guys remember what you did in your 12th grade prom, okay? But mine was fun. I'm the one who actually asked my friend to be my date because it wasn't all girls school. So it's not like a guy would come up and ask you, you know, usually, unless you're like already dating him, but you kind of had to go and tell someone like, hey, I need a date. So I called him up and I was like, hey, how are you? So I was wondering if you want to come with me to prom. Nowadays, I know that asking people to prom has become a whole thing. People are really going out there. You know, back in my day, it was much simpler. It was cool. We had a nice venue in, um, I think it was in Long Island City. And after that, my friends and I, we rented out this limo for, uh, was it six hours? We rented out a limo for like a good six to eight hours. I think there was about eight to 10 of us in the limo. And we just wanted him to drive around the city. Just like drive around the city, stop us where we want to stop, take us where we want to go. And I just remember ending up in IHOP at six o'clock in the morning. There were a hell of a lot of other prom people also at IHOP. And I was like, I feel like this is so surreal. Like I'm in a dream. Why, why do I see all these other random people coming from prom and they're at IHOP at like, five, six in the morning. Honestly, I was so tired. I just remember I ordered these like wheat pancakes or something. And then 
I ended up falling asleep in the IHOP. And my friends woke me up when it was time to go, but it was honestly so fun. If you guys are about to go to prom, make sure you have fun. You only get one prom, okay? One prom, or two, if you're like me, okay? But make it worth it, don't go too crazy to the point where you wake up and you regret something, okay? And I'm just saying, you know, make it fun with your friends, make it a night to remember, dance, and laugh, and you know, go get IHOP at six o'clock in the morning if you want to, okay? Can you help me take off my dress? Hey guys, I'm back and I'm done trying on all my old prom dresses, all my old graduation dresses. My 12th grade graduation dress, I think I got rid of that a long time ago because I knew that I was not gonna be wearing that. Afterward, it was super duper short. I'm not gonna be keeping these dresses any longer. I'm going to be donating it to a nonprofit organization called Catherine's Closet that I recently heard about. It's based in Newark. And there's a lot of other organizations too that accept or collect older prom dresses to redonate around prom and graduation time. So if you have any old dresses that you know you're not gonna wear again, and they're just collecting dust in your closet. If you have no other use for them, then I definitely encourage you to look up, you know, any organization near you that will accept prom dresses. And I will leave the information or the link below for Catherine's Closet in case anyone's in the NYC, New Jersey, Connecticut area and wants to also drop them off. And I hope that these dresses bless some other girls out there. The fact that they're usually free or they're heavily discounted helps um, a lot of people who don't necessarily have a whole bunch of money to spend on special occasion dresses. Special occasion dresses are freaking expensive. They are not cheap. Special occasion dresses, usually it's not something you repeat over and over again. It's almost like a one-time thing or max like two times and you're done wearing that special occasion dress. So um you know save some space in your closet and donate it for those youngins who are off to prom soon in a couple of months and off to graduation soon i just want to encourage you to have fun with the whole process this is a milestone in your life and you know when it comes to picking out dresses don't ever feel you know pressured or forced to wear something or you know, do something that you don't want to do because at the end of the day, these are memories that you will remember. Memory, memory, memories in your life. So you want to make sure that those memories are worthwhile and memories that you can look back and be really happy with. So that's all I have to say for now. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I would love to know your thoughts and comments on this video. So please, let me know below in the comments box, like this video and share and subscribe to my channel and please stay tuned for future videos. Bye guys.